Alright, so here's a continuation of the Samsung Notebook model NP940Z5L. So I figured since this one was having a screen issue, I'd pop out the screen and kind of show what's going on. So these screens are kind of um, really tough to take apart. You have uh, adhesive on the back. So I already peeled it up, but I'll, let me show you what makes it difficult. So let me get this out. So they put adhesive all around this glass. So to get this out, what you need is a really thin pry tool. And you kind of just get the pry tool between the, the glass and the rubber. So make sure you're not prying um, between the rubber and the metal frame. You want to um, pry between the rubber and the glass. So you really, uh, you want to pry really slow with this. You have to be very patient. Um, and then you also have to use a lot of heat. So um, you can use a hair dryer. I just use like a mini space heater. But basically, you get your pry tool in there, and then once you get the pry tool in, um, you switch to another thin tool. So let me see if I can show you. So I have like these um, these little tools. So I have one that's just a flat plastic, and then I have this one that has like a flat part and then also a thicker part. Um, but you'll use the flat one first, and once you pry this up a little bit with the pry tool, then you can insert the flat the flat tool and you just keep heating it slowly heating it it should be like hot enough where if you touch the glass it's like feels like your hands gonna burn if you leave your hand there but not so hot that if you just do this it burns your hand so you don't want it too hot that it melts the the rubber and stuff um, but anyways uh, I forgot to mention to take the screen out so on the other video I was saying there's those plastic covers so you remove those you disconnect both the antennas and the LCD cables and then there's four screws holding each hinge in place. You want to have the screen open 90 degrees so that way once you undo the screens the base of the laptop you can just lift this off like that. You don't want to have to like pry it around and move it. So yeah anyways once you get the screen out like this um, then you can start prying this. Uh, first, actually, what you'll want to do is remove this plastic cover here. So this actually is kind of a pain as well. Um, let me put the plastic thing back here so it doesn't get stuck back down. Okay. So this black plastic piece is a pain, um, but basically you have to get a pry tool or your fingernails in between this small little gap here. Um, and once you get your hand in there, you can actually start prying it out. I'm going to have to take this out because... I have to rest this to show you. So, just like this, you get your fingernail or pry tool in this. And since I kind of already popped it, it comes out a little bit easier. But basically, you pull this out. There's a little clip. You keep going all along, and along this bar. And then you can pop out more clips. So, it's kind of tough. But you just keep going along and popping these clips out just like this. So this, you'll probably end up damaging your pry tools and things like that. Um, but yeah, hope those you, those are pretty cheap. And my fingernails, they grow back. So th this is kind of a good tool to use for this. But basically, as you see, it's slowly prying out along this bar. So just keep going all along. Okay, this part, it gets, the clips are really strong. So kind of have to just keep working it. Hopefully, I don't know if you can even see what I'm doing. But yeah, just keep going, just like that. Be careful not to stick the pry tool too far because there are the antennas and wires inside and you don't want to damage those. Okay, so, oh, sorry. So you can see here, this one last clip is kind of stuck. Okay. Hmm. There you go. So once you get all those clips out, then this cover here actually just flips forward like this and you can take it all out okay just like that so this part um, you want to move this cable out of the way and then pull this up because there's an adhesive on the back um, I'm not gonna take the screen completely out but I'll show you um, when you peel this part out you can start doing this while it's still attached to the laptop that way you can have the laptop actually holding it up at an angle it makes it a lot easier Okay, so like the laptop will be like this. When you put the tool in, um, you don't want to force it, force it along. 
So you put the tool in, and the adhesive will slowly start peeling itself. And then after it peels some up, you can slide the tool over. It'll slowly peel some more. You just slide it over, and then just keep slowly moving it over as the adhesive peels itself up. You don't want to like just force the pry tool all the way down because it'll um, end up cracking the glass. Okay. So once you get this glass kind of loose and you got this cover off, then to remove this um, the cabling from here, um, the easiest way is you push down on this white rubbery part and it'll flex the front out and then it unclips it. So then you can unclip this um, rubbery part and then you can get this cable out from underneath. Okay, and then this part also if it comes out, just put it straight down on top and then when you push it down the clip will go back in. Okay, then this part's a little bit tough. You'll have to use like a screwdriver or something to help kind of guide it outside of this little, um, I don't know what you call it, like the little clip or latch. Um, so I just use a screwdriver and then kind of help it be careful and be gentle. You don't want to end up like breaking this wire or your screen's not going to work at all. Okay, so I just do that and kind of work it, kind of wiggle it, get it to go around that little clip, All right? Just slowly wiggle it and eventually it'll come out just like that, okay? Once you get that out, again, this cable has some adhesive on it, so you'll want to kind of pull it up so the adhesive isn't sticking. Um, there are two screws here you have to remove. They are also the PH0 or J0, so remove those two screws and then then what you want to do is put the screen back up like this, all right? And then since the adhesive is a little loose, just lean the screen forward, okay? And then, okay, the adhesive stuck back down. But basically, you slowly go down this thing so that the adhesive can peel itself, all right? And then let the screen, the weight of the screen, undo the adhesive itself. Just make sure to kind of catch it. Like keep your hand there so it doesn't fall too far forward and then just let the screen slowly fall forward so there's a lot of adhesive towards the bottom of the screen that's very strong um, but if you just let it slowly peel itself off just let the screen slowly fall while you're holding it and it'll eventually peel itself to the point where you can actually access the cable and be careful because the webcam cable is along the back of this thing so you don't want to just yank the whole glass out you want to leave it there okay so once you get it laying down as you can see it's detaching from the frame okay then you can actually go along with the connector here Hopefully it's not stopping my recording, but then you can go along here. This connector has this little latch you can flip up just like other models. And then once you flip that up, you can pull the connector back and then you can just pull the connector back in and then flip this latch back. So if your connector is loose or you have to replace the screen, that's how you do it. So hopefully this video helped you. If it did, please like and subscribe because that'll help me. And thank you for watching. Um, when you put it back, make sure to line up the bottom two parts first and then seat the whole thing down. Um, that's very important. All right. Thank you for watching. Bye.